Welcome back to Oxenfree. We have just come from the campgrounds and entered the beginning of Relay Point looking for Ren. Hey, just for me, I want to know. Back at the bridge, why'd you flip the switch yourself? You could have let me do it. I'm just curious. Uh, I just wanted to see what would happen, to be honest. All right. Okay, that must be the way station. And actually, help me understand, why would an island need anything like that anyway? Like, nobody's going anywhere. Doesn't the whole thing just go in a circle? I, it, it just bore you. Hey, I like history. Remember? That army equipment in the tower? Um, this was a, a mining island before the war. And the land, you know, as you can tell, it wasn't really conducive to most different ways of transport, so they dug into the hills and laid down tracks and carted the coal by freight to the, um, the pier for the boats. Can I ask you something? Y <laughs> yeah, of course. You think I'm kind of a slacker idiot, right? Like, I wouldn't find any of this stuff interesting? Um, I think your smarts are probably about average. I guess, the national mean. The national mean? Yeah, alright, I can live with that. It's kind of a backhanded compliment. Huh. I think I remember reading that this well is supposed to be the first thing ever, um, built, or whatever, on the island. Back in the 1600s. It doesn't have a sign or anything. It uh, used to, I think. I just had to check if that single stone by the well was maybe a waystone. I mean, a waystone? What? Uh, a cairn, I mean. Place with a radio station? What about this one? Nope. So where does the left go to? It's like, that just leads up. You know, I don't know where the term waystone just, like, why that came to my mind, but you know what? I mean, a cairn is quite literally just a stack of stones placed there to mark a way to something. I, I mean, I guess in a very literal way, that is a, a waystone, is it not? Or weigh stones, I guess, plural. Huh, there's a... Oh, that's the other side of the bridge that leads to Fort Milner. Portuguese explorers, Spanish settlers, but few stayed long, preferring the ranch work offered by the mainland. After 1890, the island was gifted to Colonel Caleb Edwards for his part in the American Indian Wars, and he would lease it to several mining companies throughout the early 1900s. This relay station served as the center of a makeshift railroad that carted coal to northern and southern piers. When Edwards died, the government saw a hole in national security at the outset of World War II and decided to take control of the island once again, founding Fort Milner in 1941. This island has had many owners. Guys! Jesus, it took you forever to get here. What happened? I've been scared out of my mind. Hearing things, seeing things. We went to Milner first. Clarissa was having a slow-motion conniption, and I don't know, it just seemed more pressing. Oh my god! Clarissa can handle herself. I'm the one that needed a babysitter until I was 14. That does not surprise me at all. Do you have, like, any idea what's going on? Okay, that must be the way station. And actually, help me understand, why would an island need anything like that anyway? Oh, that's why Waystone came to mind, because it's called a Waystation. Ugh, Jonas, we're repeating the same stuff again. There's your boy. Hey, 
Wait, Ren! We made it, finally. Um, Ren? Ren! Seriously, Ren, you can have a drug freak out on your own time. I don't have the patience to worry about you right now, so come on, look alive here. What's he doing? Is he, like, sleepwalking? I don't know how he, like, fell asleep during all this. Ren? Are you in there? Come on, pal, the neighbors are here and they want to borrow some sugar. This isn't a guy on drugs. Not that I want to, like, alarm you. Yeah, I don't want to say the word possession here, but... But... what? But he's possessed. It's possession. He's... yeah, he's clearly possessed. Well, you know, let's not jump to conclusions here, but maybe it's not that. Looks like we maybe have a decision? We've got two of these? I don't know, maybe I need to do both, but I feel like it's like a fork. And Ren is standing right at the middle of it. I don't know if you remember, but the last time we got stuck, we used one of these things to get out of it, so... I'm not just messing around right now. Yeah, I remember, I remember. Kind of. I don't know, like, what the difference is between them, though, so I guess I'll just do this one and see what happens. Oh, yeah, I guess you do need to do both. Hey, where'd Ren go? He was standing right there. I thought... I thought this would have fixed it. Like, last time, didn't it? The time stuff? Yeah, I mean, I think... I, I think it did. I don't feel as foggy. Ren must have used this to call us. Oh, it looks smashed. Um... Crap. I don't... Maybe we shouldn't, um, go near him? I mean, I know they say don't move somebody with a spine injury, but it's like... We gotta do something, right? Well, I'm not leaving him, so that's not even an option. No, obviously. Unless we got, like, really, really scared, then, you know... Whoa, is this... Is that helpful? It's doing something, but... Helping him, hopefully. I don't know. Jesus, Ren, are, are you... Oh, God. Talk through child. Feels. Stretched. Better. No. Um, were, were you in Ren? Ren. Kid. Home. Voice. Sometimes. But do not be stood. Our dolls would never plot hurt you. Can not hurt you. Can we, uh, help you or leave? Possible. Um, yeah, sure. Leave possible. Grounded by Adler. So, uh, Margaret. Pretty. Little puppy. Peggy Adler, that old woman? What does she have to do with it? Old woman was young once. We were young once. Sit still. Bear fruit. Tag. God, you guys. God, Ren. Man, my heart's going like a hummingbird in a in a car. Ren, Jesus, are, are you all right? Yeah, just give me a second. 
Give me a week. Why? Why is this... Why? Actually... Thanks for coming, by the way. Sure. Why is this happening? I mean, I've been here. I visited this place like 15 times. The island's haunted, Ren. Like haunted with memories or elevators on their period haunted? The second one. Guys, anyone? Is this thing working? If Don't anyone can hear this, out there, in a whatever, I, I'm at the con tower on Edwards Island. Hey, she listened to us. Great. So, if anyone can... What is this? I'm trying to communicate with the... Does she know how to even work that stuff? Doesn't sound like it. <sighs> we should get back there before she freaks out and runs away again. I think that was our cue then. It's kind of a shortcut back to the communication tower if we go through this fence. Shouldn't take that long. What? You made us walk all the... We had to take a goddamn moving bridge thing to get here, and all you had to do was go through a fence to get to the comm tower? I didn't want to leave. I was scared. I'm sorry. Ugh. Go back to the comm tower. So, where is it? Through the fence? That's the shortcut? Not exactly sure. Well, if nothing else, I imagine going to the outpost across the bridge. Uh, I'm guessing if we come from this direction, we can probably push that blockade down, maybe? I don't know. Hopefully. Oh, man. You know what just jumped into my head just completely randomly? That show. Oh, yeah, there we go. Uh, it was a horse ranch or a horse farm, but but that makes it sound like they have a little cabbage patch field. Of what? What are you talking about? A year ago, out in Salem, we took over a stable and our band played, and you, you ditched that test again, right? To, to bring us a new amp? Because during the sound check, we blew ours. None of this is sparking any synapses. What about tonight made this pop into your head? Is it is it just because we're, like, outside? I don't know. But I can't believe you didn't tell Jonas this story yet. She had already blown off this, like, super important for school placement aptitude test once, and... Why'd you do that? Um, I think she was indisposed? Michael had just died, like, a month or two before, and I... I don't know, I just wasn't in the quizzing mood. But you know, it's... whatever, that's... that's not part of the story. Anyways, she was gonna retake it, and on the day of, I had to emergency call her way out in the... Just picture, like, Little House on the Prairie. I don't know what that is. It's a... Poor Jonah looks like they're stuck on the top step up there. Really? You don't know what Little House on the Prairie Wait, is? Wait, you blew off an important test to get him an amp? Really? That was a thing you did. Yeah, I mean, he needed his amp. And it was just a stupid test, so who cares? And the funny part is, I'd taken that same test after dosing a bunch of cough medicine and I still aced it, so she would have blown it out of the water. And even knowing that, she still came out to help me. That's awesome. <sighs> of course he did. One of these days, Nate's dad is going to start keeping a tally of his medicine cabinet. And I will rue that day, let me tell you. Yeah, I mean... Mayday! May... Oh, crap. This isn't... This is just coming out of speakers in the roof thing, isn't it? <laughs> She's adorable, isn't she? Ugh. My god, is this what I sound like? <laughs> yeah, How can anyone stand for to listen pinching. to me all day? Yeah, let's see how she is. And, uh, so get my lungs a breather. My stupid chest's on fire for some reason. Smoke will do that. Yes, it will. I suppose being possessed also doesn't help. Oh, hey guys. I see you down there. And without Clarissa... Actually, I'm gonna stop talking since this obviously isn't working. So just come on up and you can help or something. God, this stupid thing. She doesn't sound good, right? She sounds a little off. I don't know her well enough. She's just tired, Ren. We're all tired. I mean... Hell, I would have been tired by now if all we'd been doing was drinking and laying on the beach. Yeah, I guess. Just, I'm so glad I took that second brownie. What? It's kind of, you know, it's just about to start doing its thing. When did you take a second one? How many do you even have? I ate it right when we got back to the fields. I thought you noticed. Wait, you're not messing with us? You seriously took another one? It was like, it was like half of one, all right? It's just to level me out. It'll... It'll bring me back up. That's what it does. You better pray to whatever god scares you the most. It does level you out, because if this screws us up, you're on summary probation. 
Don't say that. That's not... That's not nice. Oh, God. This thing doesn't work. Not getting anything? I'm getting something, but it's like... I don't know. Hey, Nona. Night's still going, huh? We heard you on the uh, speaker system. You got that working? That's about all I got working. Uh, sorry I was like weird earlier. But hey, have you figured out what's going on yet? You have to know something. You've been like out there. Uh, yeah, we have. Look, we tuned into something in the cave and uh, it was like Gabriel sounded the trumpet. Just everything went terrible. And, uh, ghosts. Yes. Oh! Oh, I got it! This is great. This is perfect. I know exactly what to do. Do you? Yeah, totally. It's Maggie Adler. Maggie Adler? Yeah, she has a boat. Had a boat. I mean, the boat's still here, but she's not. She's dead. Her house, manor, or whatever it is, is behind a huge gate. You can see it coming up here from Main Street. No, I know, but the keys to it are here, somewhat readily available. My sister, Allie, worked at the parks office in town. She had to deliver that old woman her mail every day. I know that they have the key. Okay, so... No, no, gonna... no, we are not. We are not going to go with the plan. The first plan put forth by the group's resident, Burnout. Hey, come on. I'm not a burnout. Okay, so I ate, like, two brownies. Yeah, and one of them was... Well, and I'm not saying it's the best plan, but what other plan is there, really, Jonas? Oh, I don't know. Fix the radio, find Clarissa, set fire to the mug shop... And these are just off the top of my head. Yeah, I'm still worried about Clarissa. But we don't know where Clarissa is. I'm not saying literally do that, I'm just... There's other things we can do. <laughs> but there isn't. Ren, understand it is completely your fault that we're in this to begin with. What? And now you want us to trust you when things are really bad? You had Alex bring the radio. You brought us here. Jonas, are you serious? This was your fault. Even a blind guy could flail around and bump into that conclusion. You crawled into that hole. You oh crap! I thought that was saying. Ah, oh, I thought that was saying Ren is the one at fault. I didn't mean to say Jonas. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Cause I just want to shit all over Ren because I hate them. Oh, this backfired. I'm sorry, Jonas. You gotta stop, guys. Come on. And you tuned into the triangle thing, Alex. So you can't pin the entire thing on me. And I freely admit it. In front of... whatever. In front of Nona and Ren, I blew it. Okay? I should have known better. You didn't blow it, Alex. You only screwed up, apparently, by bringing Jonas along. And I freely blame your mom for that. It should be obvious, to even the cheap seats, that you're the only new weirdo who throws this whole social harmony thing we got going on out of whack. I mean, we all grew up with each other. Alex knows... Okay, Ren, just... Take a step back, all right? Jonas isn't a weirdo. He's a... he's a good guy. What? Your good guy is like deploying a missile barrage of insanity on me right now. I mean, Jesus, Alex. When you told me Ren annoyed the crap out of you, I had no idea how much you were lowballing. That really was a lowball. Please. Like she would ever say that. This was just earlier tonight. Okay, you're arguing 15 things at once now. Do the plan, trust Jonas, leave Ren, like pick a target, or, better yet, just don't. Yeah. Look, I don't care what Caveman Jonas says. <laughs> there is, is a that? boat at Maggie Adler's house. And the key to her house is back on Main Street. And the backup plan for when this thing fails spectacularly is two of us have to stay here by the semi-functioning walkie-talkie. Fine by me. Alex has the radio. Are you okay to go into town? Not that you... Not, not that you wouldn't be okay. Honestly? Anything to get me off this tower and away from this specific configuration of yelling people would do wonders for me right now. She shouldn't... You shouldn't go alone. We don't need, like, three of us up here. No, no, come yeah, with me, totally please. Go. It's my, like, brilliant idea or whatever. Are you kidding? Your food is gonna start kicking in any second. Beyond that, you're a completely unreliable basket case. I am not a basket case. You, uh... Meathead? Just shut up, both of you! Sorry. Okay, keeping in mind who you've been able to depend on the whole night... Yes, keeping in mind who you're tired of... Keeping in mind who's taller, who do you want coming with you? Yeah, your oldest pal. Easy. Nona? Wanna come with me? What? Really? I mean... I guess... Why this are you isn't... making me shack up with it's this guy? It's my friggin' plan! We'll be back later, so play nice in the meantime. They'll be... We'll be... You'll be fine. 
This is a total punt, Alex. Yeah, this no, is it's fine. This will be a good... If you don't want to take sides, don't take sides. But no, nobody's happy with this. Uh. Yeah, well, I don't really care right now what you're happy with. See you soon. Ah, oh, thank God. I'd like to learn more about Nona. Anything get me away from Ren. And, I mean, Jonas is also being a bit annoying right now, but especially Ren. Find the gate key at Main Street. Yeah, that'll allow us to get to the Adler Estate. So yeah, I, I forgot to mention anything about what the, uh, the, what do I call them? What the, what the triangle? Or the ghosts? Or let's just call it the triangle. I didn't mention what the triangle said to us. It said, um, it talked about wanting to leave. Obviously it wants to leave. And it said that it couldn't because of, of Adler. Was it Maggie Adler? Said that they were like bound because of her. I wonder what that means exactly. So, so I remember back at the beginning of the game when we were talking about the Adler estate, didn't, I think, I assume it was Ren, it must have been, they said that, didn't um, Adler die just like a few days ago or something, very, very recently? I wonder if this has anything to do with her death. But also, if they're bound there because of Adler, how come they're not free to leave now that she's dead? Maybe it's not Adler herself, but something that she has, something left in her house that is binding them here. Ah, the sound of peace and quiet. we're gonna like talk to each other I did want to know more about Nona uh, I don't think they have an interaction bubble on them do they nope You know, I do remember you from Mr. Tuttle's class. You Sorry to interrupt, Nona. Um, to the left. You sit in the, uh, back, behind Jake. I just forgot. I'm sorry. Oh, wait, wait. Uh, yeah, this isn't the right way. I need to go down first, I think? <coughs> oh, hey, it's, it's nothing to be sorry about. I don't talk all that much, so I don't know why you'd remember me. I'm also just, like, never there. It's a loophole where, I don't know if you know this, but if you ditch, you get a detention, and if you don't go to that, you get suspended. But suspensions are like paid vacation, you can just do your work over. So... Wait, if you don't really go to, like, class, what are you doing instead all day? Jenny, the TA, she lets me practice ballet in her studio. So that, really. Oh, that's oh, cool. and don't tell anyone, but my birthday's in three days, and I'm having a thing, and you're invited. Oh, this I was so Chris worth it. I out of town, so it shouldn't be a problem. Ugh. Sorry you had to spend part of your birthday week dealing with all of this. Oh, that's no big deal. I don't even know why I brought it up. That's not true. I was thinking about, uh, well, I'm worried about Clarissa and... Well, I was thinking about my last birthday when... No. Actually, sorry. Never mind. This has nothing to do with anything. I'm just in a fog right now. Sorry. No, come on. I want to hear this. It was last year, your birthday. Go. Just 
This was when Nicole was in her car accident, and so of course we cancel and go visit her, and I'm not gonna pout about that. It's common decency, it's fine. But afterwards, after this totally emotionally draining night, Clarissa still came over and surprised me with this huge cake. And we stayed up and watched all my favorite movies, and she didn't have to do that. Clarissa and Nona are in love. That's now, that's canon now. That's sweet, actually. Anyways, my birthday's in three days, and I just hope she's okay. That's all. We'll find her, Nona. We're not leaving without her. Ugh, yeah, I know. famously named after Colonel Caleb Edwards for his glorious and triumphant slaughtering of countless families during one of the great ethnic cleansings of the 20th century. The forceful removal of an ignorant people to make space for destined holders is a time-honored tradition in our still young country. And you will be a part of that heritage, Alex. Oh. Do not resist. It will be over soon. Uh... Huh. You know, th that actually gets to something I've been thinking about. I get the feeling that I, I might be encountering more than one entity, or, or more than one type of entity. Because some of the things we've seen and some of the things we've experienced are, are, are violent and disturbing, but other things seem more just desperate. Like, whatever it was that was speaking to us through the triangle, and uh, and uh, possessing our bodies to try to talk through us. That just seemed seemed desperate. It just like wants to escape. And I get a, I get the feeling that's a different thing than perhaps the. Uh, let's look at the photos. I think that might be a different thing than these sort of demon-looking figures that we see in these pictures. Which uh, I mean, I guess they haven't actually directly hurt us, but they're certainly a menacing figure. Whereas the other thing feels less menacing? I mean, it definitely doesn't feel good when it possesses someone. That sort of seems demonic as well, but... I, I think it's just... Like it said, trying to speak through them. To ask for help. So yeah, I feel like there's more than one... Thing going on. And whatever we just heard from this cairn... Well, that's obviously very violent and disturbing, and I, I don't get the feeling that's the same thing as what was asking us for help before. Let's listen to that again. The island is famously named after Colonel Caleb Edwards for his glorious and triumphant slaughtering of countless families during one of the great ethnic cleansings of the 20th century. The forceful removal of an ignorant people to make space for destined holders is a time-honored tradition in our still young country. And you will be a part of that heritage, Alex. Do not resist. It will be over soon. The horrible bigotry of manifest destiny. Whatever that thing is that we're hearing, it seems to celebrate it and like it. And, and it said you will be part of that heritage as well. I will be part of kicking out the original people who are here? What exactly does that mean? Are the spirits the spirits of the people that were originally here? Because I also got the feeling that the spirits were maybe the, like the, the Navy people, I think, that were killed in that accident when the boat went down I don't know I don't think I know enough yet also I don't remember this place at all did I not come down this way before bomb shelter This early version of what would today be considered a blast and fallout shelter was commissioned and built in 1946 the above-ground hub leads to a bunker 60 feet beneath the Earth's surface, 
molded with layers of poured concrete and packed earth. The lead blast door will only unlock through use of the call and response system, a setup devised by Lieutenant Commander Matthew Feinberg to prevent tampering. If the Catbird Station, a small watch point in Edwards Forest, radios in a decoded attack, the shelter door will automatically open, triggering an alarm and compulsory evacuation. Hmm. I've got a feeling that might be something we're going to do. I hope we're heading the right way. Have I actually been down here? Like, I don't really remember this place. Where does this go? Oh, to the Adler Estate. Oh, we can enter the Adler Estate from two different areas, it looks like. Both from Beacon Beach and also from Epiphany Fields. Okay. We still need the key, of course. Alex's voice. Discovery Cliffs. Oh, we gotta go through there before we get to Main Street. Okay. Yeah, so how we originally got to... Wait. Oh, we never really went through Discovery Cliffs, did we? Or at least never this part of it? Because I think we climbed down to Beacon Beach. And then, we, and then when we saw the light, we kind of just teleported to uh, Harden Tower. So yeah, we haven't actually been here, really. Yeah, definitely haven't been here. Alright, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, we're going to explore some of these areas that we've been next to, but not quite at. And then head to Main Street and see if we can get the key to the Adler Estate.